Today we are taking a look at brand new FC24 gameplay. I took a look at the Pro Clubs trailer and I cut out the gameplay clips and we're just going to take a look here. So this stuff here is just general Pro Clubs on the field gameplay. The top right is your player name and also the play styles that you have equipped. And uh, we've got pre-game intros I believe so you can see the players in the club warming up. And there's also the locker room cutscenes as well. We've got more match day introduction cutscenes here. And we've got the players coming into the ground. We've got some general gameplay on the field as well here. And uh, there's also the cutscenes where you can see your commentators. They're 3D scanned as well. So you'll see them in pro clubs as well. Derek Ray and Stuart Robson. This is one of the cutscenes that comes up in the background when you get promoted to a different division. And then we've got experience earned here. So Alex White gets 1,471 XP after a match because of the match rating and the attack and defense bonuses. We've got halftime menus in pro clubs as well. You can see we've got the scoreboard on the top right. The simple layout there for the different options in the menu you can see your trophy in the ground you can see Alex Scott there and it's just a cutscene of her very briefly there's more halftime cutscenes of your manager doing some tactics in the locker room and then we've also got the walkouts with the mascots as well we've got uh, the fans pointing to the Frostbite engine logo it looks like the Frostbite engine logo is one of the sponsors maybe it's going to be a sponsor in career mode as well dynamic match intros are a part of pro clubs as well and uh, this is a coin toss cutscene I believe so you can see the referee flipping the coin after all these years they decided to bring back the coin toss cutscene so it looks like uh, they watched my videos I guess then we've got the players walking out again and uh, the locker room cutscenes as well. They've improved these a lot this year. There's a lot of different variations of it. You can see players walking out again. Another change room cutscene. Players walking out once again onto the field. Massive stadium here. This is the Stage 3 stadium. There's three different stadiums you can unlock in pro clubs. And uh, we've got the mascots there. We've got the fans again. And uh, there's also some gameplay here where you can select different settings. So match type. Select whether the next match is a league playoff friendly or practice match. Select kit, any position, match keeper, and best match my team size as well. After every match in clubs, you'll get new fans and also increase your skill rating. You can see the increases there. You get rewards as well for playing. You get a trophy, fans, Volta coins, and skill points, I believe. I think that's what it stands for. And it says you finish second here. There's league trophies that can be equipped on the sidelines of your club's pitch. So as you pick up more trophies, silver, bronze, and gold for different divisions and seasons, I guess you can put them on the field. This is a customization thing in the menus. My club, you've got customization on your kit, your club badge, and your stadium. Your reputation there tells you how many fans. Your inbox messages, your tactics, your squad members, and also your trophy cabinet. So let's just take a look here. They could use a trophy cabinet in career mode as well. Something like this. Like imagine you win the Champions League. It comes up there, tells you maybe the result of the game or something like that, the, the year you won it. If you win the Premier League, it would come up as a trophy. I can't believe we don't even have a trophy cabinet in career mode that's properly done, you know. World renowned level 10. And uh, let's just see if there's anything else here. So you can see level 1, hometown hero. You get the T1 stadium and a default clubs bundle. Your club is at the start of its journey. You can only go up from here as you continue to draw fans to matches. So there's 10 different levels. And as you go up, level 2 still says the same status there. Level 3, the club is at the start of the journey still. But you get new rewards and uh, you can put them into your ground. Here are some more halftime cutscenes. This is the tier 3 stadium. Absolutely amazing. Looks beautiful. I would love this in crew mode as well. You've got the animated boards that go around the top. You've got a massive crowd, massive capacity there. You've got a Nike bundle, which looks sick. And also the menu stuff on the left. And more fans here. So there's a look at your fans. We've got the match day introduction as well. So this is after the coin toss. They take a photo. And there's your referees as well. And uh, they sort of do like a fist bump as well. And then we've got the T1 ground, I believe. So this is where you start. And then this is the stage 2 one. So as you level up, you get this one unlocked. And that's obviously a pretty nice looking stadium as well. And then we go to level three, which is absolutely stunning. Look at that, man. Beautiful stuff. We've got stadium customization here. So home ground, stadium bundle, pitch, trophy, and TIFO. And uh, there's your bundles. So basically one click and you get all the things changed. So the flags, the banners, colors as well. I think lighting as well, everything changes. So it's just a quicker way to click something and it's all done for you. So if you click, I guess, the jungle, you end up with this around your ground. It does it all for you. And then we've got the Volta Shop, which is for customization. You can put face masks and headbands and tattoos on your Virtual Pro. And then we've also got hats as well and also the bags. And we've also got goggles as well. A lot of tattoos here. So that's basically it for customization. There's play styles as well. So you can check your play styles, pluses, and also your six play styles. So in total, up to eight, I believe. And then we've also got your profile there, your attributes. And uh, this is where you select your play styles for your player. But that's pretty much your club's gameplay. Let me know what you think of the mode.